Breast cancer can affect men. The incidence is relatively low. It represents less than 1% of all cancers in men and less than 1% of breast cancers. In the UK, we see roughly 390 new cases per year with a lifetime risk of 1 in 870. Compare that to 55,000 new cases of female breast cancers per year in the UK with a lifetime risk of 1 in 7, the incidence of male breast cancer is relatively low. And because of this, we don't talk about it very much. So it's important to raise awareness around this topic. What does male breast cancer look like and how do you treat it? There are certain things that can increase the risk of men developing breast cancer. If you want to know what these are, then check out a video I have made talking all about this, and I'll leave the link in the description below. So, what does a breast cancer in a man look like? Well, it actually presents just like how a breast cancer would in a woman. It normally presents as a lump, usually behind the nipple area, but it can also present anywhere in the breast. It can also present with nipple retraction, skin changes, as well as nipple discharge. Now, men can also get a condition called gynecomastia, which is a benign condition that also presents as a lump behind the nipple area. And a clinical examination and scans should be able to tell the difference between these two conditions, gynecomastia or cancer. If the appearance is suspicious, then we will do a biopsy to confirm the exact nature of the lump. Do you see the same types of breast cancer in men as you do in women? Yes, actually we do. Male breast cancer commonly originates from the ductal system and so you will commonly see ductal carcinomas. Unlike in women though, the anatomy of the male breast is such that there are very few lobules and so lobular cancers are not that common. Overall, male breast cancer is more likely to be estrogen receptor positive and HER2 negative, and they're less likely to be triple negative as well. Now, because we don't have a screening program for men, together with the lack of awareness, breast cancer in men usually present as larger cancers compared to women, and there's also more often lymph node spread or metastases, 42% of males compared to 33% of women. So how do you treat it? Well, you treat it in a similar fashion to female breast cancers, and this may involve surgery, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, as well as endocrine treatment or tablets. So let's talk about surgery. Traditionally, mastectomy or removal of the entire breast would be the surgery most commonly recommended. And this is because the male breast doesn't contain much breast tissue, and so a mastectomy is usually preferred to make sure that we completely remove the cancer in one go, and at the same time, allowing a good cosmetic outcome. However, having a lumpectomy is possible, especially if the cancer is small and if there is enough breast tissue to allow the closure of the defect. Radiotherapy. Observational studies have shown that breast cancer conservation with radiotherapy has similar survival rates compared to those who've had a mastectomy, and yet we don't do enough breast conservation surgery in men. The data suggests that roughly only 52% of men with breast cancer having had conservation surgery will get radiotherapy. Now let's talk about chemotherapy. Like in women, men who are eligible should be offered chemotherapy, both in the near adjuvant as well as the adjuvant setting. Although the data of the benefits of chemotherapy in men is from observational studies, it has been shown to improve survival rates. And lastly, let's talk about endocrine treatment. Since most male breast cancers are estrogen positive, endocrine treatment plays an important role in treatment. And tamoxifen is the most studied and is the recommended treatment. So is there a survival difference between men and women with breast cancer? The American SEER, or Surveillance Epidemiology and End Results Registry, is a bit of a long word, that database suggests that men have poorer survival for stages one to three compared to women. However, the relative survival rates, which is obtained after adjusting for older age at diagnosis and poorer life expectancy, it actually shows survival rates are quite similar between men and women. It's really important to increase awareness to encourage men to do self-examination and to seek medical help early.